Lori, this comes right back at you. Adequately funding police has been a hot button issue in this race. How big an increase, if any, do you think the police need and how should that money be invested, Lori? Well, we know that our crime rate has soared uh, and our gun crime has soared by 200%. I think in the city of Portland, we had 400 uh, gun crimes, homicides, uh, and now we're up to 800 the last two years. Defunding the police, I don't know a Republican or a Democrat who wants to defund the police. People want their community safe. They want to be able to go to work. They want their kids to be able to go to school. And they don't want to be hit over the back of the head uh, by anybody or carjacked. People are unsafe on the streets. As mayor, I made sure to fully fund the police. Actually, I increased the police department for every year I was there. I made sure that we had 24-7 coverage. That's important to community members. My opponent, I know she's going to deny this over and over again. She marched in three defund the police movements. There are pictures of her that her, her spouse took. I will tell you, we cannot do that. We can use the bullhorn to help police. Uh, public safety is important to our communities, and I will stand by the blue every single time that I can. Jamie? My opponent struggles with her relationship with the truth, whether the statement about the Green New Deal and about this question of defund. I have never marched in a defund the police rally. That's ridiculous. I also am endorsed by the former chief of police right here in Bend because he knows my track record and he knows uh, what I stand for. Here's the bottom line. Between the two of us, I am the only one in this race who has consistently, as a, as a city manager and as a council member, increased funding for services, for uh, accountability, for training, and for officer wellness. I've been through a Citizens Police Academy. I know how tough that job is. Ironically, and part of the reason we've heard this before from extremists who point fingers when they are afraid of the truth being pointed at them, my, my opponent under her watch is Mayor Happy Valley, a levy failed that would have defunded the Happy Valley Police Department. They had to scramble to get a new levy on the ballot that cost additional taxpayer money. She's the one who has put her police department at risk. When I got to talent, they did not have 24-7 coverage. When I left, they did. Okay, Lori. Well, uh, I don't think the former police chief of Ben has talked to the former police chief of Phoenix. Uh, because I know that it was either she goes or he goes. And I know you don't want to tell the full story. Uh, your elected service is in San Francisco Bay Area, nowhere near the state of Oregon. So I think people should know where you were elected. Uh, that being said, when ballots do fail, and they did, uh, by one vote, and I went out and I knocked doors in Happy Valley, I put the shoe leather in to make sure that people knew how important public safety was, and it passed by over 80%, and I'm proud to say that. Jamie, 30 seconds. <laughs> Yeah, so much here, but uh, but from the chief of police that I've worked with, from right here in Bend, the former chief of police and his confidence because he knows my track record, I stand by that. Look, we're going to have to focus on economic development for our region. Having experience in Silicon Valley is a plus, but I'm also the product of Oregon schools, from Southern Oregon to uh, law school in, in the Willamette Valley. So we have a lot of bait and switch that my opponent does. What she doesn't tell you is about her background. I won't get into that because that's just a cheap politics that people are sick of. All right. Good debate, good discussion so far. And after the break, the candidates get to ask each other a question. We're back in 90 seconds.